Hey guys, uh, I'm back. I do apologise for the long, uh, longish period of absence. Uh, but with uh, as you saw from the last video, those who could understand, um, I had a few uh, personal issues to uh, sort out. But uh, why not? I'm back. Uh, I put some headphones in to try and make the sound a bit better because I don't have a phone stand. I do everything on my phone, so uh, it was in a pint glass beforehand. So. First of all, I'm going to open a fresh new tin. I've got some Take Your Time, which I believe was called Take It Easy, and it's also got a third name by Dan Tobacco. Uh, to let you show what I've started doing, I don't know if you can see that, but when I got my tins, I put a little label on them and it's written whether it's an aromatic, um, as well aromatics, for example, there we go. Different one, the uh, Virginia Burley. Uh, if it's an aromatic, I've Put down the flavor flavorings, the cut that it is, the score on uh, tobaccoreviews.com. Uh, when I bought it, or if I've got tin date on it, uh, uh, the tin date, and then the the four profiles from um, tobaccoreviews.com. So the strength, the flavoring, the taste, and the room note. So that when I'm looking for tobacco to open, to give me some sort of idea of, of what to expect uh, in terms of you know. Of, of, I don't know tobacco run, keep having to look up each time. Um, I can see if it's in English or, or an aromatic and so on. So today, not yet opened, this is a tin of, like I said, uh, take, it, take Your Time with Damn Tobacco. It's an aromatic with uh, supposedly blackberry, coconut, passion fruit. So we shall uh, open him up. Tins. First time I've ever had a hundred gram tin. Tend to go for small quantities and more tobacco, uh, so that I can try things out. Not that I buy too much, but uh, oh, but it definitely smells uh, very fruity. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I might just turn that light off behind me, it's probably uh, a bit distracting. Two seconds. <laughs> uh, that's maybe a bit better actually. Uh, so yeah. Hmm. It smells divine. Very fruity. I should be smoking it in this. This is JPL. Pack it up. So I um, hope everyone's well. We're still semi locked down here, so curfew at eight o'clock. No pubs or restaurants open. Uh, it's very long and and dull now. And I do believe in the next few days I'll be announcing a further a further lockdown. to get through that one. <laughs> and I've spilled half of it everywhere anyway, so it might not take me that long to get through it all. There's definite sweetness to it. I mean, I'm not picking up the coconut. 
Um, there is the, the dark berry flavour to it, I couldn't say specifically blackberries, but... It's, it's got a lovely creaminess to it, I mean it's, what was it? 2.3 on tobacco reviews. It's obviously far too early for me to, to give it a, a true review, just a on the fly opinion. Mm. So I did uh, finally get my um, tobacco order from which I was way back before we were locked down. And I went at uh, end of October. So I'll just show you what I picked up. Uh, do, do, do. That, 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 and that. So, Dan Tobacco's Independence from the uh, uh, was it the old American series, something like that, American History series. Liberty from the American History series and Midnight Ride from the American History series. And then uh, I decided, um, because they, not that you can get them anyway, but even a, in general, a Friday Savinelli pipe uh, matches uh, Savinelli is uh, out of my league. What I'd do is actually I'd pick up a Savinelli pipe tobacco. So that, um, uh, when I do decide to open this tobacco, I can it'll be to, to think of him and uh, also of other members of the community that have passed. Mm, that is a lovely smoke, actually. Um, so what I picked up was Savinelli Aroma. Which is an aromatic with almonds, sherry, bourbon, coffee, vanilla, whiskey sort of flavours within it. It's got 3.2 on them. Tobacco reviews, so that's going to be maybe International Pipe Smoking Day. I might crack that one open. But yeah, it, certainly for the first time it's open will be uh, for something special, so I can think of think of John and obviously everyone else that uh, has sadly uh, moved on to pastures uh, new and better. great man. They did send me, which is very nice, a small sampler of maroon chocolate nougat. I have had a small bar, it's a generous sampler to be fair. I've had a bowl out of that already. We've got another two, maybe three small bowls worth in there, so a four bowl sampler. I think that's fairly generous. And they sent me a cigar cutter as well because I did order some little cigarettos, uh, which were already cut, but uh, that's kind of him. Um, so yeah, just sort of let you know that I'm I am still here. I have not really been watching um, videos of uh, say uh, been in my own little world, shall we say, uh, for a, for a few um, week week uh, month month and a half. So but I'm back. Um, And I've got nothing better to do, so I will try and take you out and about with me and uh, let you see what's going on around here. Take care, everyone, and I do believe uh, that's it. So, um, thank you very much. Happy puffing, and speak to you all soon.